guys so I'm finally here with my Peter Pilato for Target haul and I know that I was telling you guys that I might go into the store and buy some items but honestly one I can never just bring myself to get up at 8 in the morning and leave the house stand in line fight a bunch of people in line and then they possibly don't have all the items that I want so I've learned from now going to shopping three of the Target collabs. The best way to get everything you want is to just get up at three o'clock in the morning, hop online, and then order all the stuff that you want. And the really great thing about ordering online is that they have web exclusive items. So for instance, this top that I'm wearing right now, this top was one of the tops that was highly advertised and a lot of people wanted this top, but it was only online. So if I would have gone to my local Target to buy the stuff that I bought, I probably wouldn't have gotten any of the stuff that I really wanted. Um, this is the first time that I've actually gotten as much stuff as I have because I, I don't know, I guess they changed the way they do it online because usually like last year, um, when I finally was able to shop at like 3 a.m., <laughs> everything was sold out and I was just like I've been sitting here clicking refresh for like an hour and nothing's coming up and then when it finally comes up it's sold out or whenever I was checking out the items that were in my cart sold out before I could put my credit card information in so Target made um, this collab a lot smoother as far as the checkout process goes online and um, it was actually really really easy and I was really surprised because it, I was done within like five minutes and then I just got back in the bed. So I'll start with the items that I'm actually wearing. So I'm wearing the um, Swim Bustier and this is the one that they had in the advertisement, their print advertisement and um, their commercial. And I also got the bottoms that go with it. So this is like a chartreuse color with blue and black and it's it's like a multicolor print it's supposed to be um floral print but it doesn't really look like floral print to me it just looks like a bunch of colors and prints that are mixed together so i wasn't sure what size to order online because there was no sizing information so i got a small i usually wear extra small but i got a small in these and i got a small in the bustier and the bustier it's a little big like in the the top section um but i think that a small probably would have an extra small would have been okay but um either way i'm fine with it and it fits just fine i don't have any issues with it i think the print is really cute and i liked that it's kind of like a crop top bustier and then i'm also wearing this cardigan my husband went and picked this cardigan up for me yesterday um, when he went there to just get some groceries and this cardigan is really cool because the back of it is actually netted and the sleeves are netted. So this is a really great piece that you can wear during like, you know, the spring when it's still a little cool and it's not that hot because you can get a lot of airflow through this cardigan and it goes all the way to the back. So um, some other items that I picked up would also be this red dress and you can only get this dress in this color online. And this is like a t-shirt dress and I didn't even know this dress was a part of the line because I was looking at it days before and I didn't see this dress but when I saw it I liked it and um, I really like just the mixture of patterns and prints and textures like up here is lace and then you have like this print up here and then you have like a different print down here and it's like a satiny material and um, then on the back it's color blocked and this is really long so it's a shirt dress but it's actually long enough where it covers everything that needs to be covered and this dress is really cute you can wear it with boots or you can wear it with sandals um, pair it with a jacket a blazer a cardigan it's very versatile and it goes with a lot of stuff and the next item that I have that was available online only as far as the color goes is going to be this dress and this dress I wasn't really sure um, if I was gonna like it so right now my stuff just came in this afternoon and this is my first impressions of everything 
that I received because I just got it. So when I try these items on, I'll be trying them on for the first time in front of you guys, except for this because I'm already wearing it. But this right here has so many prints going on. It's got three different prints. It's got like this lace piece right here, then it has another layer here in the middle. And then down here it has another different print. And it comes with this white belt. So this dress was the most expensive piece that I picked up from Target. Um, I believe this dress was $49.95. And I really liked the, um, the red uh, strapless jacquard dress, but I knew that everyone was going to go straight for that dress. And it was like, I think, $80 or $90. So I didn't want to spend like that much on one item. I wanted to get as much stuff as possible. So that's why I opted for this dress. Plus I, you know, I figured this dress would probably look very cute anyway. So the next item that I got is going to be this swim cover up. And all of these items are up for interpretation, like how you want to wear them. Um, just because it's like swimwear, it doesn't mean that you only have to wear it when you're swimming. So just like with this dress, you don't necessarily have to only wear this as a beach cover up. The thing that I can tell you is like the fabric is really thin and you can see through it. So if you are going to wear it as a dress, you should probably put a slip on underneath it. But the part that is on the chest area is double layered. So it's darker so that you can't see through it. And this is that same really pretty floral print color. And, um, from what I read online, like an interview that they did, is that they were going for a really retro styled look, but modernized. So I'm guessing that's like where the prints are coming from and the crinoline that's under the jacquard dress, the, you know, like, I can definitely see like where they were going with the prints that they chose. And I think the prints are really refreshing. At first, when I saw the prints and everything, I was like, oh, I don't like any of this stuff. I'm not buying anything from this collab. And my husband was like, good. And then I just kept looking at it. And I was like, well, let me see if there's at least one thing that I can find that I like in this whole line. Just one thing. And I was leaning towards this. But there is one thing that I'm not sure I'm going to like about this. And that's this deep keyhole right here that goes through the middle of the breasts. But I was leaning towards this. And then I saw this dress and I was like, well, you know what? This dress um, is really cute and I think that it'll look really cute on someone who's petite like me. So initially I had only set out to buy this dress. And then once I kind of accepted all the crazy prints and all the wild colors and all the layers, then I was like, oh, okay, well, I like the line, you know, but it's like you either love it or you hate it when you first see it. And so I had to go back and like really give it a second look. But this is the dress that I definitely knew that I wanted. And the last piece that I have here is actually another piece that I didn't see when I researched the line like a week before it came out. And this piece right here is going to be this bodycon dress. And I really love the way um, whenever Target does their collabs, they always have like, they, they do their collabs and it's always very like methodical. Like they have a lot of the same stuff every time they do them. So for instance, when they did the, um, the Philip Lean collab, he had a bodycon dress also. And I really like that one. So it didn't surprise me that there was in fact a bodycon dress made out of t-shirt material or jersey material that was a part of this collab. And purple is my favorite color. So this is one of the only items that had purple. There was like two dresses that were this print. So I went on ahead and got this dress and I think this one was like $25. I can't remember. But um, I got this dress in an extra small since it's jersey material. I also got this dress in an extra small. And I got this in an extra small, the um, beach dress. 
And as for this dress right here, this is an extra small and this one I got in a size 4 because a lot of times these size, the sizing for these collabs is usually European sizing. So usually when I um, buy stuff that's European sizing, I usually get a 4 which is equivalent to the size that I wear in US sizing. I'm not sure if the dress fits because obviously I'm going to try it on now. But um, hopefully if everything fits, I will be keeping everything that I just showed you guys. And um, as far as I know on eBay, there wasn't, the price gouging wasn't too bad. You know, I checked on eBay to see how much, how much the jacquard dress was going for. And a lot of people were only selling it for $10 more than it actually cost if you had bought it from Target, Target or Net-A-Porter. Oh, and that's another thing that I wanted to mention. This is the first time that Target made their collab available um, for people to buy worldwide. And so they actually were able to buy this stuff through Net-A-Porter. Net but the only thing was Net-A-Porter, one, they didn't have everything from the line. So there were a lot of items, like I said, that were in their print and their, um, their video ads, their commercials, that were not available on Net-A-Porter, which was kind of disappointing for a lot of people. And um, another thing was some of their items were marked up. Some of their items were 10 to $15 more because they were on the Net-A-Porter site instead of like if you had just bought them straight from Target. But I will tell you this, a lot of those people that bought their stuff from Net-A-Porter got their stuff a lot quicker than if you ordered it from Target. So for instance, as soon as everything was available for me to purchase last Sunday, I placed three separate orders immediately and they shipped out 12 hours later. They shipped out on Sunday, but I didn't get all of my stuff until today on Saturday. And so I know a lot of people started getting their stuff as early as Wednesday. So that is another thing that I noticed. And then a few other things that I observed is like people um, are saying like the fabric is not high quality and they didn't want to buy the clothes because they felt cheap or the clothes are too bright or um, Target and Peter Pilato, the brand, alienated a lot of people by providing like crop tops and bustiers and things of that nature and that it really wasn't um, something that I guess working women could wear or real women could wear. But the actual line that they put out, um, there was a lot of there was a lot of choices like there was variety so like not everything was crop tops obviously um there actually was only one crop top sweater there was one crop top that um i guess is it was called like a rash guard or something and it was made out of swimsuit material i'm sure you've all seen it because they paired it with a skirt and it looked really cute and then there was this bustier and another bustier so it really wasn't that much stuff that showed midriffs plus this is a resort line and even they said that even though it's swimwear, it's open for interpretation and you can style it any way you want. So I, for one, um, I was kind of iffy about like resort wear in February because right now it's like about 50 degrees here. So right now um, the sun has gone down and this actually is too skimpy for me to wear out anywhere because I would be freezing. But during the day here, it was like 65 70 degrees so that worked out just fine but as far as how i feel about the quality of the clothes i actually think that a lot of these clothes um the fabric choices are a lot nicer than i would say the prop ball garung line like the philip lean choices and the choices of fabric this time i think are pretty nice and it's a step up and i really don't have any complaints about anything except Everything is just really, really bright. <laughs> but I mean, if that doesn't bother you, then everything's good to me. So anyway, guys, you all know that I love shopping the Target collab. So I can't wait until they announce who the next collab is going to be with. It's really, really fun to, you know, get this stuff and add it to your collection. And I think that one thing that people lose sight of is, you know, you're getting stuff from the actual runway designer like these clothes that they design are like 
thousand dollars like four thousand dollars for like maybe a shirt and a top or a shirt and a skirt you know and so they're designing this for target and it's like their brainchild but they're using target's budget so you can't expect the fabric to be like as high end as you know if you bought something from the peter Pilato runway you know uh line line of clothes so there's lots of different things that I think people get like really caught up in but for the most part I just think it's really fun and it's really great unique stuff to add to your collection and um, yeah this is my third collab that I shopped and this one was the easiest and it was the most fun and I got everything that I set out to get oh and one other thing this is my hair after I did the oil rinse I just took my twists out today and um my hair is really shiny it's really soft and it's silkier than usual after doing the oil rinse so the results are always really good when i do that and like i said it cuts down on single strand knots so this is how it turned out and usually over the course of like a week the um the twists like the curls will drop so it'll wind up looking longer um, once it starts dropping. But anyway guys, I'll talk to you all later.